in this video we will learn how we will do simple union and simple find algorithms okay you know what is union union means what combining elements for example here we have two sets a and b right two disjoint sets you are combining both of them what you will get one two three four five six union means simply you are combining all the elements repeated elements you will take only once but since we don't have any repeated elements here you can take all those elements as it is okay we are representing this union operation with the help of a tree okay and among all the elements you can pick any one of the element as the root node arbitrarily you can pick any one of the root element as the root node done so now let us see what are the steps we have for the union algorithm first you have to consider all the elements as separate trees or separate nodes you have to consider each and every element as a different node okay then you have to consider p of i for each node how you will consider p of i i will tell you p of i is nothing but what parent value okay the parent value of each and every node you have to consider next for all the root nodes you have to initialize with the value of minus 1 okay minus 1 should be initialized to all the root nodes and after each and every union operation you have to update your p of i value how you will update your p of i value also i will tell you with example don't worry this is the algorithm simple algorithm just one step p of j is equal to don't worry i'll tell you how to do that okay so what he said first he asked you to assume all the elements as separate nodes right so let us take one two three four five and six okay now what you will do is let me take another piece of paper okay something yeah see now what you will do one two three four five six so each and every element you have assumed it as a different different nodes okay now you will be combining two two elements two two elements means what first you will take one and you will combine two with one that means like this next you will take three you will combine four okay next you will take five you will combine six okay in the first step you did this now we will have this is i value okay this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, what is the P of I value for the first iteration? Okay. So, who, who is the parent of 1? There is no parent. 1 itself is the parent node. Right. So, for parent node or root node, what we are taking P of I value as? Minus 1. So, here you will have minus 1. The parent of 2 is 1. Okay next parent of 3 p3 itself is a root node so minus 1 parent of 4 is 3 5 is a root node so minus 1 and uh, 6 parent is 5 okay done so this is the first iteration in the second iteration what you are doing you are combining this tree and this tree that means union of 1 comma 3 we are taking only root nodes okay that means what you will do now 1, 2. Now what you are doing? You are joining 3 here. Okay? Just simply you are joining 3. And for 3 you have 4. Okay? So now again update the values here. I is the root, sorry, 1 is the root node. So minus 1 as it is. Next. Who is the parent of 2? 1. Parent of 3? 1. Parent of 4, 3. And 5 and 6 as it is. Okay. Because 5 is the root node and 6. The parent of 6 is 5. Now what you are doing? You are combining this tree and this tree. Okay. That means union of 1 comma 5. You are just representing the root nodes. Okay. So the this tree you will take it as, as it is. Next here 5 will come and then here 6 will come. So now see 1 as it is because 1 is the root node. Okay. So minus 1 
for root node you should always give minus 1 right so minus 1 as it is next who is parent of 2 1 who is parent of 3 1 parent of 4 is 3 parent of 5 is 1 and parent of 6 is 5 okay done so you have covered all the nodes right so union operation is done this is how you will do union operation very 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 simple okay simple logic you have to keep you adding all the sorry keep combining all the nodes until all the nodes are completed this is simple union that is why it is very simple okay next you'll have weighted union also but for now uh, let us see find and the next videos we will learn about simple or i mean weighted union and uh, collapsing find and all okay now let us um, see the find algorithm so find means what basically you are searching for an element okay find means you are searching for an element like quick sort merge sort what we did there we are uh, sorry not sorting binary search linear search what we did we just searched for an element right here also you are searching for the element only so here what you will keep getting you will get the root node of the element for example in here not here where was our example yeah here for example you are searching for element 2 then what it will return it will return 1 the root node of the respective element will be written if the element is available if it is not available we cannot do anything okay so the algorithm will be like this find of i like what you are trying to find if p of i is greater than 0 guys leave this algorithm i'll explain you the example then i will explain you the algorithm then you'll understand it clearly otherwise now you will not understand it properly okay okay done see first just uh, do the same what did we do the matrix previously 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay in p of i so what is p of i for 1 it is minus 1 because it is the root node and for 2 the parent is 1 for 3 parent is 1 for 4 parent is 3 and for 5 parent is 1 okay for example we are trying to find 4 we are trying to find the element 4 okay so what we have to do first we have to find the value of parent of 4 who is parent of 4 3 so 3 is greater than or equal to 0 or not yes it is greater than or equal to 0 right the parent of 4 is 3 and now find out the parent of 3 who is the parent of 3 1 1 is greater than or equal to 0 yes next who is parent of 1 the parent of 1 is minus 1 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 no it is not so that means 1 is the root node 1 is the root node for the element 4 I will explain you with this algorithm now suppose you are trying to find 4 so you are passing 4 as the parameter so find of 4 while p of i is greater than or equal to 0 p of i means what p of 4 is greater than or equal to 0 check p of 4 is 3 3 is greater than or equal to 0 true now what you have to do i is equal to p of i that means i is equal to how much now p of i is what 3 so i is equal to 3 again go back here here so find of 3 now your parameter is 3 while p of i is greater than or equal to 0 here what is p of i in this iteration 3 what is parent of 3 1 1 is greater than or equal to 0 true so this you will come to this statement so i will become 1 now I, because i is equal to p of i p of i is equal to how much 1 so i is equal to 1 you are again passing 1 here so you are trying to find 1 okay while p of 1 is greater than or equal to 0 what is p of 1 minus 1 minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 no this is false so you will come out of this while loop okay so 1 is our present i value right and then it will return i what is our present i value 1 so it is returning 1 simple first you will find the parent of 4 parent of 4 is 3 yes it is greater than 0 so you will go for parent of 1 parent of parent of 3 yeah parent of 1 is minus 1 minus 1 is not greater than 0 so obviously you will return 1 
okay this is about find algorithm so that's all for this video guys let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic